How is it going guys? Slippy Jim here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Subnautica. In the last episode we were searching around the place for some resources because uh, there's a couple of things that I want to build next which is the radiation suit and uh, that requires uh, lead and silicon rubber. So for lead we need more copper and silver. Uh, we're pretty good for the rubber though. Now the other thing that I wanted to make was the mobile vehicle base so we can make some stuff like the Seamoth which we have uh, got the blueprint for now and for that we need lubricant and a power cell so uh, yeah this thing is sparking again god damn it how many times do I have to repair this uh, anyway so searching for those materials unfortunately what happened is we encountered some some stalkers and they uh, kind of didn't take too kindly to having us there and uh, killed me a couple of times so uh, what I thought we would try out is uh, let's grab some peepers here Oh, I have a power cell in here already. Interesting. And a computer chip. They must have been in this locker originally, I think. Because I don't remember. I certainly don't, don't think I crafted those myself. Anyway, um, we are going to try something out. So we got a scan of a stalker. Um, at great risk to, to health and safety. But it gave us some really interesting information. So if we have a look here under carnivores... This is the information we got from scanning it. And what it said about the stalker was that it has uh, reward-based learning ability. Uh, it also told us that it is a predator of the peeper and that you can coerce them. So putting that all together, I thought we would try feeding um, a stalker a peeper and see if that does anything. Uh, just in case it calms it down, or maybe we can even tame them like in Ark or something like that. Just before we head out though, I'm just going to cook up some of these Gary fish, because we are getting a bit hungry here. And I think we have some bleach in here. So we should be able to make us some disinfected water. And the other thing I'll make while I'm here is some of the lubricant that we're going to need for the mobile vehicle bay, I think. So if we can store that in here. This is full. So I'll take one of those. Actually, I'll take a couple of those. We might need them. We'll eat those and drink that. And let's see. Everything else we'll leave in there. All right, here we go. Let's go and try and find some stalkers so there's probably some over here in this biome but I'm thinking that I might need some extra peepers I only have two right now I'm not sure if we need more than that or if this is even gonna work I think there's some over here let's try and grab these guys come here peeper come here okay this one will do they are quit they are quite fast that's the that's the thing with catching these things they're everywhere, but I just can't... Just, I can catch a Gary fish, probably, but... I want me a peeper. Peepers are really good eating as well. Come here, you. Damn it. Bloody hell. <laughs> There we go. How many have we got now? Oh, five. That's probably enough. I'll get one more just in case. If I can. Come here, you. Come here. I'll get I'll get this Gary fish as well. Gary fish are nice and slow. Alright, so we have our peepers. Let's go back to that uh, kelp forest biome. I just need some oxygen. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright. I'm just going to check this fragment over here, just in case it's one that we need. Seamoth. No, we've got that. We've got that one already. So I'm not going to do too much gathering here until we've tried this out. Uh, I guess I'll just check. This is right here in front of me, so... We did need copper. Anyway, let's go see if we can find 
a stalker. There's a sand shark down there. I'm not going to mess with those guys. They're even worse than the stalkers. I don't think this is the right area. They're not usually that deep. Maybe over here. This looks like more of their kind of area. Oh, got a bit of lag. Got a little bit of lag happening there. Oh. Let's just check this one. Oh! Silver! Yes! I really need that silver. I hope we don't die now. Okay, there's some stalkers over there. Let's just get some fresh oxygen. And then we'll try this out, this crazy plan. Alright, I've got my peeper ready. Got my peeper ready! <laughs> Let's go. Try and tame a stalker. Here he comes, here he comes, okay. Come on. Eat it, eat it! Eat it, eat it! How many do we have to feed to this guy? I think he ate that one. Okay. Is he friendly now? Do you think he's friendly? What's he doing? Hey! Oh, good! Get off me! Get off me! What the heck? <laughs> oh my god, this ocean. It's out to get me. Well, it was a little bit hard to tell whether that worked or not, but... It definitely stopped him from attacking me. Whether it actually tamed him, though... I'm not so convinced. And now it's dark, so... It's a little bit hard to see. Should we try it again, or... How many of these have I got left? Two. Uh, let's just see what this is. Titanium. Um, okay, there's a stalker over there. We only... Are these things again? Really? Let's try and scan this sucker. Gotcha! <laughs> We've got your information now. Let's get some oxygen. So let's just take a quick look at the information about those things. Bleeder. A simple parasitic organism, little more evolved than the common tick. Identifying features include a ductile sac on its rear end for collection and digestion of blood, and a jaw with rows of teeth and mandibles used to attach to the skin of its victims. Known to target live organisms, the bleeder's low speed and poor defenses suggest they have evolved primarily as carrion feeders. Inconvenient and unhygienic. <laughs> Alright, so they're kind of just there to annoy us, I guess. Um. Alright, we'll make our way back to base. Now that we have that silver, I think we might have enough to make a radiation suit. Which would be pretty cool. Let's just check this one all the way. Oh, gold! Alright. Gold used to be one of the rarest things you could find when I played this game last, but I don't know if it still is or not. Let's keep an eye out for the stalkers. So, yeah. Let's just check this one as well. Copper. Beautiful. Alright, I'm getting a lot of stuff here. Okay, there's another stalker. Um, should we try and, try and tame that one? I've got... I've got two peepers left. Where'd he go? There he is. Alright. <gasps> oh, good! Oh, eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Oh, I need to heal up. Where is my inventory? Well, it made him go away, right? So that's good. It definitely got him off our tail. I'm not sure if he's exactly tamed or not, but I do want to check this little outcropping thing here. Titanium. That's a waste of my time. Okay, where's the um, the pod at? Over there. Okay, let's head back to the pod. And uh, we should be able to craft up <clears throat> a couple of uh, a couple of things now that we've been trying to get made for a while, which is good. Um. Uh oh. <gasps> no. 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 Two of them at once. Really? Oh, I think I killed that one. Wow. I didn't even hack at it that much. 
Bro, unlucky. That's what you get. That's what you get for messing with Slippery Jim. I think there's a fragment over there. Did I see a fragment? <gasps> oh god! <laughs> that was quite scary! Alright, let's not go mess with those guys again. I've died enough times to, um... To stalkers in this game. Where's that peeper at? So peepers are probably a good idea to have in your inventory. Just in case you're going to come across... Stalkers. Because it does seem to you, it does seem to like distract them and get them to, to go away for a while, but only temporarily. Alrighty. So let's see what we can get made up now. Alright. So, actually we need some titanium, don't we? How much titanium have I got? One, two, three, four, five. We needed some silicon rubber. We needed the lead. We needed the copper. Um, we needed the lubricant. What else did we need? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I think we have enough titanium there. And let's just heal up with that. Why did I only get one mushroom? That's not going to be much good for anything. Uh, put the gold in there. Okay, so let's make up some more lead. And we can make the titanium ingot as well. And lead. And we'll just cook up cook up some more Gary fish. And can I make bleach? Let's make some more bleach. And the water. So we'll eat that and drink that. Now we should be able to, let's just take a look here at the radiation suit. So we can actually make that. That is awesome. Which means, guys, we can go explore the wreck now and try and work out if we can stop the radiation leaking out. Um, and find some cool stuff over there. But the other thing that we wanted was... To make... The sea glide. Interesting. Okay, so we can make that. I thought we needed the mobile vehicle bait to make that, but maybe because it's a handheld, like, uh, device, we can just make it straight out. So we need a battery, copper wire, and titanium for that. Interesting. But then we have the mobile vehicle bait. So we just need the power cell. Let's get that made up. And let's see. Well, we'll deploy that first and we'll see if... Um, have I got any more fish I can cook up? Let's just have a look here. It's like you're constantly hungry in this game. Anyway. Uh, where will we deploy this thing? I think I'll put it over here in this area. <clears throat> we'll float it there. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's check this thing out. So if we climb up on this... Vehicles. Seamoth. So we have the blueprint. Then we need titanium. A titanium ingot. A power cell, two glass, and lubricant. So the, bi the big ticket items are going to be the titanium ingot and power cell, basically. Um, let's just see what I've got over here. So I've got tons of titanium in here still. Not quite enough for an ingot. Oh, then again... I thought I had some metal salvage somewhere. Maybe not. Uh, we need to make another power cell though. Let's just grab this metal salvage down here. And uh, should I try and grab another peeper? Come here, peeper. Come here. Come here. There we go. And I needed another mushroom. Good. 
Probably a bit more metal salvage. See if we can find some more over here somewhere. So much better during the day. Okay, here we go. Metal salvage. There's a stalker over there. Stay away, stalker. Stay away. There was another piece of salvage over here somewhere. Where did it go? Disappeared. Oh, there's one of those freaking bleeders. They don't do too much damage though, so it's not too bad. Let's go down and get this metal salvage. Oh, I'm nearly out of oxygen. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen uh, remaining. I wish they gave you the warning a little bit quicker. Okay, we've probably got enough metal salvage for what we need now. I should probably try and find some more Gary fish or peepers for food though. Grab that guy. Boomerangs, uh, you can cook as well, obviously, but they're not quite as good. Should we get some more crash powder? <laughs> Come get me. Come get me. Is it chasing me? Hey, buddies. Come get me. Come get me. Come get me. Okay, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, good. They do so much damage. So much damage. Let's go see if we got both of them to explode. Oh, I'll grab that Gary fish. Where is it? Come here, you. Gotcha. So, where were those things? There's still one left over there. <gasps> No, 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 Oh, God. <laughs> All right, back to the surface it is. So, yeah, those things have that crush powder. Which we need for a few different devices that we're going to build, but we don't need it, like, right away, but why not get it when we see those things? Let's just go check. I don't think there's any in here. What about this one, though? God damn it. Hey, Gary Fish. What's going on, buddy? I think I scanned the Gary Fish. We should read up on, uh, on why they're called Gary Fish. Okay, let's go up here. This should take us to the surface. Eventually. Cool, cool. Alright, back to the pod then. I might be getting a bit low on salt actually, but I haven't seen any. Actually, there's some right there. Convenient. I think this is the area where you can find a fair bit of the stuff, so... There's some more over there, I think. Just grab that while we're at it. So we need that for bleach. I might even need some more coral by now. Okay, back we go. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, so now, let's see. We needed the titanium ingot, didn't we? So let's make some more titanium first. And then we'll make the ingot. And then we needed some glass, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we needed glass. So let's get some quartz crystal. <clears throat> Um, silver. Glass. Let's 
Like small bleach. And uh, since we're here, we might as well get some water going. Cook up a couple of Gary fish. Probably shouldn't have cooked three of them, but anyway, we'll eat these guys and drink that. Man, we're at full for our thirst. That is awesome. Uh, hopefully this stuff doesn't decay right here, but now I'm trying to remember if that's everything that we needed to make the sea moth. Let's just go have a look again at what this is telling us. Uh, power cell, that's right, and lubricant. Okay. Power cell and lubricant. Lubricant. And then we need the power cell. So I think that was uh, two batteries and silicon rubber. We need acid mushrooms. I might need to make another one though so we need all right let's go get some more mushrooms glad there's mushrooms everywhere and hopefully we have copper that's gold uh Gold, gold, silver. Hmm. Maybe it had some in my storage cubes over here. Otherwise, we might need to go find some copper. That's got nothing in it. <laughs> what about this one? They're both empty. Alright, well, looks like we have to find some copper. We have to find some uh, some of those limestone deposits to get that. Come here, Gary Fish. I should just make uh, like a fish trap. There's there's um like a device you can make which automatically catches anything that swims past. It's pretty cool. I could just put a couple of those down below my base, and then I could pick fish off them whenever I needed them. Alright, this is not the best. Let's head over towards where the kelp forest is. Actually, there's... I think that's one there. Wait. Where'd you go, Gary Fish? Titanium, which I don't need. Haven't seen any more fragments in the immediate area. We might have to go exploring to find the other stasis rifle ones that we need. Stuff like that. We also want to find the Cyclops fragments and there's some other stuff you can make as well. Okay, we got to watch out for stalkers here. There's some salt down there. I think there's some deposits here. Copper. Let's get the paper. Let's get the paper out. Eat! Eat! I just fed you two peepers, damn you! Is that not enough? Are you not satisfied? Oh no, I'm gonna drown! Oh! Damn! Why was I not... Why was I not paying attention to my oxygen? Bloody hell. We found the copper as well. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a voice in my ear. I'm just going to ignore that while I fight this stalker. Hmm. I'm going to collect these stalker teeth because I'm pretty sure that they're required for some, some um, recipes and they can be hard to find. 
Oh, what's this? Stasis rifle. Oh, sweet! Let's get this. Two or four. So we need to find two more of those, and then we'll have the stasis rifle blueprint. But... We still need to concentrate on getting the Seamoth, so... Is there nothing in that one? That's weird. Titanium. Let's go over here away from where that stalker is. See, it's fairly deep down here and you can easily forget how far you are from the surface. We're getting a bit close to the Aurora as well and I don't want to take radiation damage, so we'll head over in this direction. See what we can find over here. Keeping an eye out for limestone deposits. What's that over there? Hey, buddy. Come chase me. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. We didn't actually take that much damage that time. Crush powder. Oh. There's a stalker over there. Okay, let's go see. I didn't even know there was a second one back here. Where, where did he come from? Where did he come from? Oh, over here. Okay, well, we got some crash powder anyway out of that encounter. So that's pretty nice. But we're still looking for the copper that we need. I really want to get this Seamoth built because it is awesome for exploring. Let's see what we've got here. Titanium. What's in here? This is pretty cool. Silver? Nice. How far away are we? We'll sort of head round in a circle. We'll loop back around to where the life pod is. This is... I don't feel safe in this area. This is where the stalkers hang out. Okay, what's over here? Oh, I'm just not getting any copper. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Stay away! Oh man. Okay, I'm not gonna ignore the oxygen warning this time. I learned my lesson. Hopefully that stalk is gone. Please be copper. Yes, it's copper. I'm not sure how much copper we needed, but... Should we try and find one more, maybe? There's a lot of stalkers, though, because it's night time, I guess. Since we found out that they're actually nocturnal hunters. This is fairly deep down here. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what we can find. Okay, there's, there's one over here we can check. Grab the Gary fish on the way. Titanium? I don't actually want titanium. Yeah, we're getting quite close to the Aurora here. Which is not good for our health, so... Let's go back this way.
I need more of those limestone things. Peepa? Um. Okay, one more copper, I think, and then we'll head back if we can find one. Let's take a look over here. It's underneath here. Anything? No? This is the danger zone again down here. Can't see any... Oh, there's a fragment down there for us to analyze, so let's just head to the surface for some oxygen. Alright, where was it? Where was that fragment? Was it down here somewhere? I just swam directly up, so... Oh no. I've lost it! It was probably one we already had anyway. Maybe. Kind of sucks though. Oh, there. That might be it there. Stasis rifle. Oh yeah! This will be number three, I think. So we only need one more of those. Alright. Um, still looking for that copper though. Salt down here. Not going to complain about that. Since we need quite a bit of it. Uh oh. Oh, we're fairly deep. Okay, we'll come back down because there's a sandstone thing there. We'll go check that out. This area here, though, it might be that deep that we just get gold and silver and stuff. I wonder if you can scan these. Scan these. Oh, you can scan them. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Copper. Beautiful. Okay, we can head back, guys, and then we'll be ready to craft the Seamoth. Which is always an exciting moment. Um... Grab the peeper. Come here, peeper. Gotcha. Let's stock up on all these fish. Oh, it feels so much safer when you get into the shallow reef here. Okay, now let's just check. I want to see if there is still the grab sphere. Yeah, this is this is like the fish trap, the grab sphere. We need copper wire for that. Um, copper. <gasps> no, why did I click on that? God damn it! We still need to make a power cell, and now I have no copper ore. <laughs> wow, dude. Wow. Well, on the plus side though, <laughs> on the plus side, we can make this thing. Uh, battery, copper wire. Alright. 
So let's deploy this. Where is it? Um, we'll stick it down like... Where's the spot where there's lots of fish? Probably just here will do. Oh, look at how many boomerang fish there are. This is probably a really good spot right here. I don't want it rolling away, but if we can stick it like right here. So that should catch fish for us now. Look at that. See that? It's like got like a tendril going out from it. Searching. Searching for fish. So yeah, eventually that should catch some fish for us. I just hope it doesn't roll away. Doesn't seem to be catching too much right now. But I think maybe this school is like... They're not actually objects you can... You can pick up, even though they look... It looks like a huge school of... Um, boomerang fish I think that that it's just like a us in-game school like visually but it's not actually individual boomerang fish that you can actually like you can actually pick up oh it's caught a Gary fish for me and uh, an air bladder fish so that's pretty cool nice all right so yeah we'll just leave that there doing its thing hopefully it doesn't float away too far I can actually probably Emergency. store I can probably store some of this fish that I've collected in one of these let's just I've got quite a few Gary fish here now we'll put a few of them in there uh, I'll put some peepers in there as well we can drink that but unfortunately I kind of wasted all my copper on making that thing so we're gonna have to come back in the next episode get a little bit more copper and then we'll build the sea moth anyway hope you guys are enjoying this series of Subnautica, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Slippy Jim out.